the element spring, translational mass, translational dam, damper in the last class. Okay, right. So, so this is what the example of translational spring. Okay, and then the circuit symbol with which we are going to use. And uh, so we have seen like, you know, if the deformation is on both the sides, then it is the resultant deformation is what we try to take. Okay, and uh, here translational mass also we discussed like and then damper. So these are the dampers, you know, generally we use door stoppers, right? <clears throat> dampers examples, door stoppers and then uh, vehicle suspension and uh, bridge suspension. Okay, and there would be using and uh, flyover suspension. These are few damper uh, examples what we are going to use. Okay. And then coming to the translational damper modeling also we have seen. So we try to take it as a piston moving in a cylinder and then when uh, force is applied the liquid when, when it is the piston is moving in the liquid you will feel the opposite uh, force on the piston and which is proportional to the moment of piston is what proportional to the velocity of the damper is what we uh, said right and then uh, now uh, uh, can, can any one of you quickly model this particular system quickly so now if you have uh, this is the first step is to draw the free body diagram so now you are applying force in this direction so definitely displacement is also in this direction so what are the forces uh, acting on the body? F and FK. Spring force. Yeah, F. Uh, so FK is in same direction of X or opposite direction of X? Opposite. Opposite. FK. So F minus FK is equal to M D square X of T by DT square. Right, FK is minus KX. So F minus KX is equal to M D square X of T by D T square. So KX plus M. So this is what the simple yeah, model. Okay. So F is Vignesh. Yeah. So uh f is f is equal to kx plus mx dash so when you apply laplace transfer okay on both sides uh, m is square x of x to the line yeah so m is equal to kx plus mx dash okay so this is the simple model so when you try to take uh, Laplace transform on both the sides, okay, right, both sides uh, ignoring initial conditions, then that results in X of S by F of S. Output input is force, output is displacement. So X of S by F of S is equal to one by M S square plus K. If M and uh, K are given, if M is 1000 kg and K 2000 Newton per meter, if it is given a spring constant, then uh, the resultant equation would be 0. 0.001 uh, by S square plus 2. So this is how the uh, general transfer function look like. So what is our objective? When you apply a force of F of S 1 Newton, how much would be the displacement you are going to get? So then what you need to do? If F of T is asked and F of S is given, what do you need inverse to do? Inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform. Yeah. So inverse Laplace transform is what we have to do. And... Uh, so if you try to plot this on s plane there is a square plus two so there are two imaginary poles right we will discuss about this uh, in coming classes right 
now and uh, circuit body is given mechanical system is given everything is very good so when you you know uh, draw the or uh, obtain the transfer function x2 of s by f of s in this case i think it is the same example we we have considered yesterday or any difference similar only sir almost same similar thing. but b4 i think extra yes sir hmm? yes sir so what we have to do we have to draw the free body diagram and we have to indicate the forces acting on the body okay and then right so then we have to uh, obtain the transfer function so i think you can take this as you know the, uh, you can uh, you know take your print screen of uh, same thing screenshot of the same example and then you know you try to develop so if if it is all right for you then okay i will go ahead or otherwise you will be solving your wish so you can do it on your own no yes sir yes sir we'll do it so sometimes the mechanical systems you know they, they can be given translation system only but they will be hanging systems like this okay hanging systems like this so in that case how to obtain the transfer function so here also the same case okay here also the same case we have to draw the free body diagram okay so this is mass f of t is in the downward direction and displacement is also in the downward direction right so when you apply uh, force in the downward direction it is attached to a spring so spring force would be the spring force would be in opposite direction right yes so gravitation ah huh. yeah so gravitational force is given by m into g m into g very good yeah so this is uh, m m into g okay and fb of t is also on the upward direction right so this m into g is a constant force or varying force it's a constant constant force constant force so we can neglect you know generally in hanging bodies what they do is this is there but it can be added up at any moment right constant can be added up right yes sir so that's why generally we will not consider you can consider no problem okay f of t plus mg minus fk of t minus fb of t is equal to md square x of t by dt square as mg is constant it can be added up at any moment right and similarly you know uh, it can you know it is a constant so that's why you know constant you neglect generally right and uh, you can add up any moment in the analysis that is what the difference is okay and then uh, here you are going to get it is similar x of s by f of s is equal to 1 by ms square plus bs plus k right hey. so and once again say why do we neglect that ah why do we neglect mg why do we neglect mg means this mg is a constant force right yes sir so when you add constants when there are so initial condition is also constant right okay so constants when you add up the equation complex right yes sir 
So then what we do generally, the constant forces we generally neglect. And the moment we analyze, there we add up. Wherever this goes, uh, there we add up. Okay. Is uh, show us we are neglecting uh, they all to make you know, sir, once again. Once kindly uh, add that and show us also. Ah, uh -huh. our simplification we are neglecting now, yeah. But whenever we do analysis, we add up. Because it is a constant only, no? See, in this equation also, when we are having, when we are applying Laplace transform, we are neglecting initial condition. Is it not? Yes, sir. So why we are neglecting initial condition? For simplification only. It's not like, you know, we are uh, avoiding, you know, whenever we do analysis, there we add up again, okay? So for simplification only, we just make that. Okay? So now this is what one particular example it is given and then asked to draw a transfer function of it. So derive transfer function of it. Okay. So it can be asked anything. Like it can be asked like uh, 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 x1 of s by f u of s can be asked or x2 of s by uh, u of s it can be a transfer function okay. x3 of s by so it can be a transfer function okay right so anything asked you have to do it if you feel comfortable, okay, or otherwise, if you want me to solve also, I can solve. Fine, no? So, this is mechanical translational system. So, is that fine? If you are comfortable, then I will be going ahead. Or otherwise, if you want me to do, I can do it. Your wish. Once two, sir. Mm -hmm. Once can you do, sir? Like. Okay. So, what is the first step? Body body diagram. So first step is to draw a field. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so before the, taking up uh, this particular thing, there, there would be you know uh, displacements. You know, uh, when you are drawing free body diagrams, we have to draw free body diagrams around masses. So how many masses are here? How many masses are here? Two. Two masses. Two masses. So generally we think like we have to draw two free body diagrams. But wherever there is a displacement means we can consider that as a point mass. Okay. So displacement around masses generally will happen. Right. So there would be you know possibility of you know point mass. Right. So there, you know, we have to draw free body diagram of it. Okay. Yeah. So now uh, coming to M1, I think this is very, you know, easily you can do. So this is M1. Right. M1. Is there any direct force acting on M1? No, sir. No. So now displacement is X2 is in this direction. Okay. 
in the right side. Okay. Now, when M1 is moving to in the right di direction, what happens to FB3? Left side. So FB3 will oppose the motion, right? Now what happened to FK2? Opposes. FK2 also opposes. What happens to FB2? Opposes. It is a friction between contact. So FB2 also in the opposite direction. Okay. Right. Now, and what happens to FK1? So it should be supporting this. Supporting. Yeah. So FK1 would be in the direction. Okay. And what happened to FB1? Even it will be in the direction of X2. Support because of these two forces only, their M1 is moving, right? Yes, sir. So this is FB1. Of T. So this is M1. And similarly, you can write M2, right? So x3 is in this direction okay so fb4 and, and m2 is moving in this direction right side fb4 will be opposing or uh, in the same direction opposes so fb4 of t and what happens to fk3 Opposes. What happens to FB5? Opposite. FB5. And what happens to FB3? In the direction of M2. So this is FB3 of T. And what happens to FK2? Direction of X3. Direction of X3. This is FK3 of T. So this is a free body diagram of M2. Okay. Then, now, we have to consider point mass and then the displacement is in this direction. That is X1 of T. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, now, so this is what the point mass we are considering. So U of T is in this direction, right? Applied force is in this direction, right? Then FK1 will be in same direction of X1 or opposing this? Opposite. Opposite. Opposing. FK1 of T is this, okay? And FB1? Opposing. Opposing. Okay. So, right. Now, if you, is there any force here at X1? No. So, if you write uh, Newton's second law of motion, U of T minus A F K1 of T minus F B1 of T is equal to 0. Okay. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, only thing is now you have to write force. Now, F K one of T is what? K one into X two minus X one. Hey. X one minus X two. Why? Initial compression due to X1. Because the because force directly there only, no? Resultant X1 would be more than X2, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Then what about FB1? B1 
FB two. B B two times D X two by D T. Correct. B two T by D T of X two. What is F B three? B three times of X two D X two minus D three mm. by D T. So B three B F B three of T is B three into D by D T of X two minus X three. Right. So K two K two into X two minus X three. Okay. The X two of T minus X three of T T is common. So generally we neglect. Or otherwise write very clearly. In Laplace transform also. Uh, s you know when you are writing f of t means it is f of s x2 of s like that okay <coughs> what about fb5 d5 into x3 d by dt of x3 b5 into d by dt of x3 what is fb4 B four into D by DT of X three, sir. B four into D by DT of X three of T. What is K three? K times X three, sir. K three times X. So now, how many equations are there? So this is equation number one. This is you no know, first mass. When you try to write uh, Newton's uh, second law of motion at point mass, you will be getting this. Right, and here you will get one more equation, right? Tell me the equation. F K one of T minus F B one of T. Sorry, F K one of T plus F B one of T minus F B three of T minus. Tell me. Minus F K two of T minus F B two of T. F B two of T is equal to M into M into D square X two by D square X two by D T square. D T square. So this is equation number two. Similarly, if you write force balance equation at M two, you will get one more equation, right? And now you know the forces. You have to substitute in it, and then. Like uh, if it is asked x two by x one, right? X two by uh, u of s, then you can you know get uh, equation of x three from one equation, x one from another equation, and substitute in that, and then you can eliminate unwanted terms, right? Getting, getting or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So there is a problem, you know. There is one problem. Let me try to solve the problem. So like that, you know, you just practice it, okay? You, you, when you practice, then only you will get. Otherwise, no. बुक्स आर दे रहे हैं अच्छा इन कॉपी देम बट डू यू हैव एनी बडी हैज ई बुक विथ यू Is that control system ebook is with anybody? 
बेंजामिन सीटो सर हां यस सर आई थिंक इफ आई गेट इट आई विल टेल यू मीनवाइल ओपन एंड देन यू नो ओपन चैप्टर नंबर 4 Yes, sir. Chapter. Chapter number four. Go to examples. Can you share your screen? Uh, actually, it is in my mobile, sir. Okay. I think. Can you share it in chat box? I I I think it is. Is it possible? Uh, let me try, sir. Like. You can type only messages here, right? Yes, sir. Sir, example number six. Uh, there is a vehicle towing a body. One example is there, right? The vehicle towing. I think example four dash four or somewhere else. You know, there is a like you know driver driving a vehicle kind of thing. It should be with me. This four seven. You can mail me, you know, if you have, you know, I think you can mail me, but I think it is twenty-five MB. Yeah. Or otherwise, you can take screenshot and then you know you can WhatsApp me also. No problem. Uh, it's thirty-six MB, sir. I can share through WhatsApp. I think thirty-six MB. Okay, do it now. Let me, you know, I can open it up here so that it will be reference. Every day we'll be discussing. I mean, <laughs> meanwhile, I can download the book, you no. Know? <laughs> Let me try. Ah, you may me the book. And otherwise, I I can download now. Uh, how to download? Do you know that? Actually, uh, served in Google, sir. Like I got some link through which it got downloaded. Can I share how how can how can you download? Uh, I'm sending it in WhatsApp, sir. It's coming this one minute. Okay. Space. Yeah, there is a website called Libgen. Libgen dot org or something. Control systems. Uh, uh, cool, no? Can you just type it? Sir, I've sent in WhatsApp, sir. you will get the links of books like this can you see my screen yes sir yes sir so here you have n number of books so where is go control i think control system engineering it sir it's automatic it's automatic control system. automatic control system sir right ila yes sir automatic control systems Mm, it is there, no? It is one to eleven here. Ninth edition only. Yes, sir. Uh, I've sent the uh, ninth edition to the bottom. My time is wasting. Are we out? I'm telling you, I will give you a question. So you will not find in your uh, website. You have to do it on your own. Uh, Put a link in uh, drive link in uh, chat box also, sir. What what? 
I've put a drive link in the chat box also. So that's mm-hmm. So you can see the screen now, right? Yes, sir. So it is chapter number four, page and page number. Tell me quickly, quickly. Page Exercise. Oh, yes. One fifty-five, sir. Are you still downloading or what? It is example four dash seven. You can see this example. <clears throat> hmm? Can you see the screen clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So now uh, I hope. Code is a code or is Sri Charan. Sri Charan, na Sri Charan ready. Yes, sir. Read the question once. A vehicle towing a trailer through a spring damper coupling hitch is shown in Figure four p seven. Uh, the following parameters and variables are defined. M is the mass of the trailer. Kh the spring consists of hitch. Bh the viscous damping coefficient of the hitch. Uh, Bv the viscous friction coefficient of the trailer. Uh, y1 of t the displacement of the towing vehicle. Y2 y2 of t the displacement of the trailer and ft the force of the towing vehicle. Uh, part A is write the differential equation of the system. Part B is write the state equations by defining the Following state variables x1. We can leave. We can do it part one. Okay, very good. Huh. Who is your friend here, Charan? No friends online from first year. <laughs> do you know anybody, Charan? Yes, sir. <laughs> Who you know? Whom you know? Ritika, Ritika, sir. Ritika. Yes, sir. Ritika, Ritika Roshan. Ritvik. Ritvik. So Ritvik, please respond. Ritvik. Yes, sir. Uh, Ritvik, how many masses are there at here? Or how many free body diagrams we have to draw? Uh, sir, two free body diagrams. Two free body diagrams. One is around trailer. One is around and... trailer and one is around the head. One is around? The head, sir. Like the head of the, the towing vehicle. Yeah, sorry, yes, no. mm, correct. 
so now tell me so i am trying to help me out i am i am drawing you know on behalf of you if you have been class would have done in board okay so i am trying to write free body diagram of the trailer okay yes sir uh, trailer mass is m okay trailer is moving in this direction y2 of p yes okay is there any direct force acting on it um the viscous force of bt there is no direct force only you know other forces damping force and spring force are uh, dragging it okay okay now fbt is what oh, sorry fbt uh fbt in uh, you are asking in uh, it is in which direction sir ha uh, in which <laughs> fb3 is a frictional force between trailer uh body and the ground surface okay yes sir so fbt trailer means uh, you know it is t so fbt is in which direction when body it's is opposite this direction huh? opposite to, opposite to the displacement so opposite to the displacement so this is fbt of t okay yes sir. all right now uh, what about fkh and fbh So it's also opposite, sir. Hey. So uh, okay, depending upon y two, like y two. Oh, let me let me let me draw. That's what that's what I am telling you. We're taking one more example because this is you know point mass. Actually, is that the mass of a uh, uh, a towing vehicle is given in the problem? Uh, no, sir. No. Then we have to consider point mass. If it is, if it is like engine dragging uh, your uh, uh, train, mm. okay. And you know, uh, passengers are sitting inside. Sometimes you get jerk in uh, train while you are sitting, right? So how to design this coefficient, uh, damping coefficient, so that smooth? Uh, uh, what we say, journey happens to the passenger. Comfort is should be given. So then. Uh, that case you know the first step is what mathematical modeling so now tell me rithvik who is your friend rithvik sir uh, uh hmm varun sir varun 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 tell me uh, we have to draw a free body diagram and around this point if mass of the towing vehicle is given no problem that is not given in the problem anyway you just see okay right so now um here f of t is in this direction okay yes sir and y1 of t is also in this direction displacement is also in this direction okay yes sir yeah uh, varun now tell me when towing vehicle is moving in this direction the spring force and friction force will be in the same direction of y1 of t or it will oppose oppose sir it will oppose so fkh h is h connected between towing vehicle and trailer okay so now fkh is in this direction okay yes sir yeah then f uh, fbh is also in uh, opposite to the movement of uh, uh, yeah so fb uh, h of t is also in opposing the movement of the this thing because you know body is connected to the engine no so when it is moving in this direction it opposes the direction in the beginning okay all right right now this is about the point mass here and what happens about the trailer so now fkh and fbh it will be in y2 direction or opposite to y2 direction y2 direction sir it will be in y2 direction is this clear all of you so f k h ah. sir uh, where did you consider that point master can you repeat that point that is sir Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Here, this is this is my M. 
This is my towing vehicle. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So this is uh, Y one of T, uh, right? So this is F uh, B T of this is H no uh, H trailer. This is F B H of T. This is F K H of T, right? So now, uh, if you write the equation here, what do you get? F of t minus F k h of t minus F b h of t is equal to zero. If zero. mass is mentioned, you would have written mass, but mass is not there. What do you have to write? Zero. Zero. So equation number one. Equation number two. F k h of t plus F b h of t. F k h of t plus F b h of t plus uh, minus. Not, minus. Not plus. Minus. Minus F b t. F b Huh. Is equal B T of T is equal to M into D square M into D square Y two of T by D D square. This is equation number two. Now tell me what is F K H? This F K H. Now tell me what is F Capital K H of T. K H into Y one T minus Y two T. K H into Y one of T minus Y two of T. Varun, your friend. Any other friend? Kaushik sir. Hmm, Kaushik. Yes sir. F B H. Tell me what is F B. H of T. Sir, B H into Y one of T minus Y two of T. B H into Y one of T minus Y two. Hey, 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 hey. B H into. So one doubt. Sir. Can you please once again show the yes. body diagrams? I'll show. Let me. Let me write. B H into D by D. D by D T of uh, Y one of T minus Y two. Y one of t minus y two of t. Okay, right. So this is k h b h. What is b t f uh, b t of t? T stands for trailer. Okay. Yes. B is friction. Okay. F b t of t. Uh, b of t. So just y two of t, yes, only y two of t. Any other force we need to write here? Indicate no, na? No, sir. That's it. Yeah. Now somebody is asking a question. Tell me. So okay. So uh, nothing here. So uh, I thought uh, we took uh, f of uh, like uh, uh, kh as opposing. We took opposing. We should write uh, y two of t minus y one of t. Yeah, same man. Same C. Uh, when 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 this body is moving in this direction, k h is in, in this direction. Okay. Right here, it is in opposing. But whereas the same thing, it is dragging this direction. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that is because trailer has no force directly acting on it, no. Sir. Correct. No, but trailer is moving. No. Yes, sir. That's why it is acting in the same direction. Same direction. Yeah. Okay. Sir. So this is what right differential equations of the system. Okay. So this is yes. about mechanical translational system. Mechanical translational system. So mathematical modeling of mechanical translational system where linear motion is, but rotational system we to get mechanical rotational system where the motion is rotation, right?
so displacement here is along a uh, straight line but here the moment is along a axis correct now so here the displacement we call it as theta one of the angular displacement right when body is you know connected through a belt which is uh, having a like something uh, so the what what are the uh, so here uh, let us take there is a shaft here shaft like this okay now it has to be moved means we said like we are applying a force or we are applying a torque how to define torque Define torque. Yes, not study mechanical engineering. Hello. Moment. Uh, when tools are not designed, see why we have to study this mechanical system. Do you know when a doctor is paid more and engineer is paid more? When when a doctor is paid more and when he is super specialized in a particular field, he is a heart specialist. Neurophysician of vascular disease. Okay, right. So in that case, you know, doctor is paid more. Engineer will be paid more when he knows the knowledge, more knowledge in multiple fields. And right. I'm an electronics guy. I only study resistor, capacitor, inductor, transistor, and all. I don't know other thing. Means you have to provide solution in a mechanical field. Right. So there, I don't know means you know. You are not a field engineer then. So more the subjects you know, more the knowledge you have, multidisciplinary knowledge you have. Control system is such kind of very good subject, multidisciplinary subject. Control system is studied by electronics engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, even you know, chemical engineers, plants, process plants. So it is a tool. So when tool is uh, introduced. Sometimes you know when mechanical systems are there, at that time it was not uh, uh, design tools. So we have computer aided tools. So if any mechanical system is there, analogous electrical system is what we convert, and then we solve through our method. So that's why first we have to see the system as it is, and then we convert. That is the main thing why we are studying all these things. Okay, fine. Yeah. So define torque. Time over. Oops. So next class when you try to come in, then you know you just try to see the torque, angular displacement, and all we will be discussing because now it's already time ten. If you have any questions, you please ask me, or otherwise uh, we will be discussing in the next class. Do you have any questions, please? So we'll be talking about these things in the next class: rotational, mechanical systems. Okay, sir. All right. If you are not having any questions, then thank you.